to get new details in a story we first broke Tuesday night. Today we are hearing the 911 calls from the tragic elevator accident that killed a student athlete. He's being crushed by the elevator doors? Yes. Okay, let me connect the ambulance and don't hang up. Elevator. While the elevator the student was on was past due for its inspection, property management is now pointing the finger at someone else. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live in Northeast Atlanta for us. And Ashley, the man over the state's elevator inspections is now speaking out. What did he tell you? That's right, Tracy. The insurance commissioner tells me he is really disturbed by his incident. He says his team was actually out here yesterday to confirm that elevator was past due for its inspection. It was, and now his office is investigating what happened here. 444 Highway Avenue. Desperate calls for help from those who witnessed the unthinkable. The top of the elevator collapsed on them. Can we please get okay. the Demarcus McFarland crushed by an elevator at 444 Highland Avenue. He's being crushed by the elevator door? Yes. Okay, let me connect the ambulance and don't hang up. Witnesses say the elevator went into free fall as Jamarcus was trying to get off of it. The elevator trapping and eventually killing him. It's just been hard for everyone. Jamarcus's uncle believes his nephew's death was preventable. I did share with my mother, his grandmother, that, you know, I think that Sunday that the elevator, they were having elevator prob uh, problems with the elevator in the building and he was afraid to get on it. A certificate inside of the elevator shows it was past due for an inspection with the last one expiring in August 2020. When pressed about the past due inspection, management told CBS 46, quote, it's actually the responsibility of the state to do inspections and it's our understanding that in 2020, many inspections were not done because of COVID. The property owner ought to look at the code section. The Office of Insurance and Safety Fire conducts elevator inspections, but Commissioner John King tells me property owners must first request one. He says 444 Highland Avenue had not since its last inspection in 2019 and says inspections were not halted during the pandemic. What's disturbing at this point is they haven't asked for our office and they still have not reported to our agency, which is required by law that they report this incident. So I'm very disturbed by the fact, you know, Jamarcus deserves better. And there is now a GoFundMe for Jamarcus's family. They are working to get his body back to Missouri, where he's from. We've got that on our website. And today I learned tragically his father died just four years ago. The family is certainly dealing with a lot. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we actually have some video from inside of this building, the moment that elevator fell. And that will be coming up in the next hour. For now, I am live in Atlanta. Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Ashley, thank you.